Hello, welcome back to Check My Gear. This is my main rack. Uh, there's Rocktron Sidewinder, Solid State Preamp, Mesa Boogie, uh, Studio Preamp, which is Full Tube Preamp, TC Electronic G Major, which is mostly used as a noise gate, and then there's Mesa Boogie 5050 Stereo Power Amp. Uh, some of the markings I've written on a yellow uh, tape, but Sidewinder settings seem to change all the time, so I haven't bothered to write them down. But that's my rack, let's check my pedal board next. Okay, so this is my pedal board. Uh, there's Dunlop Crybaby Wow Wow pedal, uh, nothing special there. Uh, Electro Harmonix Micro Pug. Uh, Boss LS2 line selector pedal uh, Pog, Pog is connected to A loop of this pedal and in uh, line selectors uh, B loop there's only cable and volume cranked up so I can use it as a boost and there's two expression pedals uh, bigger one is the main one which I use for volumes, pedals, swells and some wah wah and filter stuff and the smaller one is for choruses and all, all kinds of stuff, you'll see it soon. <clears throat> then there's uh, line 666, uh, the fuck around M13 Stompbox modeler thingy, which is the main source for all the sounds. Uh, as you can see, it's connected with many cables, so I can use uh, both preamps and just full stereo, so I can put pedals to the inputs of the preamps and after uh, like after the preamps so stuff goes here to preamp inputs inputs they come back from the outputs and from here they go to TC and to the power uh, power amp there's a bit stuff going on here this is my speaker cabinet number one uh, it's an old Marshall uh, with Celestion Greenback speakers. Then it's mic'd with a biodynamic Opus 69 today. Then this other cabinet, this is actually not mine, it's my friend's. It's Fra uh, Framus Copra uh, straight cab and it's mic'd with uh, Electro Voice microphone. Both mics are off axis and they're panned. Uh, left and right. Here are the guitars I'll be using today. This one is a uh, Hackstrom Super Sweet Tremor. It has a Bixby style uh, tremolo, but it's all uh, Hackstrom's own design, so it's a bit different. It's working alright. It has a coil split switch. Uh, it's all stock except the knobs. I changed them because I like to have knobs where, it's, where there's like numbers, <laughs> so you know where you where you are with uh, control settings. Next one is Ibanez RG seven three two one. It was at some point uh, like Ibanez is the most affordable seven string. This is all stock except I. Uh, modded the tone control out of the equation so there's only volume and there's handmade explorer it's handmade in Finland by Jussi Alakuha who passed away unfortunately a few years ago this has been my main axe for many years it's dependable you can like dig a hole with this and it will always work uh, it's basic mahogany explorer, except it's uh, much thinner than, you know, Gibson explorers. It has some uh, carvings. <laughs> I don't know what they are. It's easier to play. It's not so. There's not so many angles in this one. Okay, I'll be using this today. Let's begin the play.